What's up, guys? Um, today might be my last day with Cartier. If y'all don't know, uh, we're breaking up. Daddy, I love you, baby. What's up, YouTube? This video is totally different from the videos that we regularly put up. And this video is not a prank. This video is not nothing like this video is real as it get. This ain't for no clout. This ain't for no attention. This ain't for nothing like I just want to let y'all know that me and Jazz is over with. Like, Devon and Jazz is over. Like, we through. Like, this is basically like the last time. Like, it ain't no more the one and jazz. The gang is still, I mean, if y'all still want to be a part of Watt Low Gang, I'm still going to be doing YouTube videos on this channel and on the other channel. But I'm going to try to entertain y'all because I gave, I, when, I, when I uploaded on YouTube and when I started a YouTube, I committed to y'all. That's why y'all always see me on the ground. And I'm going to continue to commit to y'all and entertain y'all for some people that might be going through stuff, going through the same thing I'm going through. I just like to put smiles on people's faces. That's why I go live with y'all and I talk to y'all. But if you don't want to subscribe to this channel no more, feel free to unsubscribe. Because Jazz will not be on here. Cartier will still be on here with me once we get everything together and find out when I'm going to see her again and when I'm going to be able to be with her. But as of me and Jazz, it's no more like, like the cheating must stop. So... With that being said, um, this was last night was my last night with my baby and with Jazz that I know of. We don't have no court documents, no nothing, none of that stuff put together. Um, Jazz was basically caught cheating, which is no surprise to everybody who's been here. Just seeing us work through all of that stuff. 
but she was caught cheating and it escalated from there to the point now, two days later, she's gone and she took Cardio with her to a whole nother state. And me just sitting here thinking about my baby, my precious gift that I always wanted. Like, I've been talking about a baby girl for years. And anybody who knew me before the YouTube, strictly on Facebook, IG knew how bad I wanted a baby girl. I was always told that I would never, I was always told that she would never do any of the things I went through with my son. And just like normal, it's the beginning of a whole new level. And one thing I would like to say, we woke up this morning to go to court, not to go to court, to go to the office of the court family courts, just to get paperwork started up saying that I will be able to visit my baby and get my baby such and such times. I want to put it in black and white on paper. So in case if she got an attitude down the line, she could never hold her, hold her away. But I, I never get a chance to like wake up with my baby again until the law or courts or whatever come to whatever suggestion they want to come up with. But like I've been with my baby since she was created, like doctor visits through sickness. Like waking up. Only time I never woke up next to her was when I was sick and I didn't want to get her sick or Jazz sick. So she wouldn't get sick because her lungs are not as strong as ours or her immune system isn't as strong as ours. And like I got ripped out of all of that. Like me being able to wake up next to my baby every day. And I can understand that we don't work out to that I will have to be like on some visiting thing, like visiting, co-parenting. That's cool. But the point of take my baby to a whole nother state. Only thing in between me and my baby every night was jazz. And now it's like two or three states in the middle of me and my baby. I've been crying like all morning, bro. Like, I can't even, I can't even basically like cry. Like I'm drained, like I'm dry, like, me just looking at my baby and thinking about my baby is just, it's so like heartbreaking. And for me to go through this shit when I've been nothing but faithful to jazz, it's like, why even be faithful? Why even try? Why even be the guy that I was being? Why not just be? The guy who don't care. Because those are the ones who never go through nothing. When I never cared, I never went through nothing. But my biggest concern right now is my daughter. Because relationships come and go all day. So now I'm just concerned about my daughter because my daughter don't go and come all day. As I sit here and just look through pictures and videos of me just recording and knowing that this time was gonna come pretty soon. 
because Jazz has already cheated over 10 times on me with the same person and come right back to me. Like, I'm pretty sure I know why she comes back because I let her. But this time, it's going to be totally different. All I want is my rights to see my baby. And that's it. And I'm just going to move forward in life and keep going. I'm going to keep driving on YouTube. I'm still trying to do everything that I was doing while they both were here. I still have a daughter to take care of. And I just got to keep going. I've been on Facebook Live all morning for like two, three hours, just crying my heart away. It is not even the point that Jazz left, because I can always see it coming because it happened so much already. Like my heart has turned like numb, numb to Jazz doing her, playing her games or doing whatever it is she called what she do. But for my baby, it is a new level in the breakup. But I had already seen signs. I looked over them, brushed them off. And I just always wondered, like, is this really meant for me? Me being faithful, is it worth it? Like, I just always question myself. But at the end of the day, we all go through things. Watlow gang, if y'all still want to be here and support me, I really appreciate it. I really do. I'll probably be doing public interviews and reaction videos and stuff like solo YouTubers do. Like maybe flight reacts or smooth geo or ddg i'll be doing a lot of vlogging what i'm doing throughout my day especially when it's an interesting day i can tell you this though i won't be sitting around being the guy with the um the broken heart because for jazz my heart is not even broken anymore like it's numb like I don't even feel it. Like it's just numb. Like it was already like an expectation. It's something I expected to happen. But for my daughter, I just know I'm gonna be in so much pain. Like all of her stuff, like her dirty clothes, like I'm not even gonna wash none of it. Cause I'm gonna wash her smell away, and that's one thing I don't want to do. Like my daughter was asleep this morning. When she woke up, all she did was ate and went back to sleep. And me and Jazz went down to the courthouse to try to get the paperwork started. And my baby never, she never saw me again after that. She never woke up. She was asleep the whole time. And I was escorted out of the courthouse by police when I never even opened my mouth. Me thinking that Jazz was meeting me in the back to watch the videos for the co-parenting thing, I was escorted out of the courthouse by three police officers. And they told me I couldn't touch Cardia Scroller because it would be considered kidnapping. She told me that I was trying to take the baby away from her, like physically. And they came in there ready to do whatever it was. When we both came to the courthouse together and we woke up together, we waited in the waiting room at the courthouse together. And once the clerk told us to come back and watch the video behind the, behind the clerk desk, Jazz didn't come. 
she went to her dad. I guess she, I thought she was getting him to come back, but she didn't. I guess she was trying to start up something and make it seem as if I was kidnapping the baby when really we're in the courthouse. Like we're going behind the clerk's desk to watch a video on co-parenting and what we should do. And, and then I get approached by three police officers telling me I can't touch my baby or I'll be a condoling or something like a doling and kidnapping because Jazz has 100% rights to Cartier and that's my baby, my princess. And they said I don't have 1% of custody of my baby. So now, I got to fill out all these papers just to get my baby. I got to have my baby in the system just so I can get up. Jazz left and went to a whole nother state today with my baby. As you can see, all my baby stuff is still here. It's things that I didn't even buy. Things that I bought and things that I didn't buy is still here. Like, none of her baby stuff is taken. But I can tell you one thing, I would not wash her dirty clothes. But if that's all I got to remember her right now, then that's what it's gonna be. I just wanna, when she open up her eyes, that she see her dad, that she always go to.